Alright you guys, this here is a Briggs Quantum 6 horse from about 2000. Um, this mower was given to me a couple years back, about a year or two ago. And I'm just now getting to it. I had it running last year and I just quit on it, but it smells of old gas. So I'm going to take the carburetor off and go from there. Take that off. That throttle wasn't even hooked up. So we're going to take these three off. Basket did not rip. It's always a plus. I'm more than likely going to change the blade because it's pretty dull and wore out. But now I gotta get that carburetor off, so I need a 3 8 Get the carburetor popped loose and take it over to my workbench and pop it loose. Today's February 27th, I do believe. It's Tuesday. So Wednesday's the last day. I already ripped my glove. Cheap Harbor Freight gloves. I have to change them before I tear into this thing. So I'm going to wiggle this one over here. Pop it. Alright. That should just wiggle right off. I'll take these bolts. When I primed this thing, it was orange gas coming out of it. Alright, let's go put this on the workbench and tear apart. Alright, so we're actually at a table now. How exciting. No more floor repairs. So we're going to crack this sucker open. This is a stainless steel table too, so it's easy to clean. The pressure off and see what runs out. I've already tell you. It looks like syrup, so I know it's old gas in this thing. We got a workbench with that arm's length. It looks like I got a visitor, possibly. So I'm going to have to cut the camera here in a second. Alright, let me get this down some more. Oh, yeah, this thing would definitely not be running. All this nasty crap, look at that. So we're going to go ahead and spray it. Clean out all the ports. It's very important up here at the primer, where the primer is. Because that's about clogged. I'm probably going to replace this gasket too. Clean out this, clean out this, then this little bowl jet. I guess I don't have a visitor coming. I'll already be here, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not at the house right now. <laughs> this little jet right here, it's clean, I can see daylight through it, but I'm going to give it a spray anyway. Assemble it. This is the quickest carb clean ever. Actually, I want to pump some down in here. See if the needle valve is working. Well, I know it's working. I can see it moving up and down. So, we put the bowl back on. I mean, I can get a new carburetor for it, but is it worth it if I can't get this one clean? Absolutely. I like to clean them by hand, which you'll can't see anything I'm doing. I do apologize. I like to clean them by hand first, like I'm doing here, and if all else fails, I dunk them. I don't like dunking them because I have to tear them all apart, and then I have to put them in some pretty corrosive stuff to clean them, and I don't like doing that. So we're just going to swing this here around. So my first time doing a carb repair. My steel table here. Alright, it's good and tight. So I am going to reassemble this off camera. You all see me do this plenty of times. It's just the same process in reverse. So I'm going to 
reassemble it. Then I'm going to let it down, see if it'll run, change blade, change oil, find a bagger for it, and put it out front with the other three. Alright, so I pulled and pulled on this thing for a good long time and it ain't got no fire, so put a different spark plug in it. Let's do the same thing. So that means I'm going to take the top off. See how rusty it is. Get my uh, stupid long pliers here. Picking the bolts out. This is a 2000 model. Uh, can push more. Very, very good push mower. I don't need to pull it any further. I got another 516 bolt hiding right here in the oil thing. I'm going to snake this in here without breaking the bolt. Awesome. And we can safely top. Oh, that might be why that coil does not look good. I'm going to check and see if that kill switch is going off all the way. And it indeed is, so it's not that. So, I'm going to, when the magnets are clear, I'm going to adjust the air gap on the coil. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so you've seen me all do this hundreds of times, but why not do it again? Definitely know it's not getting fire or it would have started because it's getting plenty of gas. So I'm going to take these off here. And that little bit of rust on these contacts might be why. I can always try a different coil, so let me get a, some sandpaper. So I have some 220 grit because that's all that I have right now. Could the coil be bad? Absolutely. It's good enough. Alright. Now I'm going to tie that brake back. Uh, this piece of wire will work. So the air gap between the flywheel and the coil is very important. If the flywheel is jammed up against the uh, coil, yes it can cause it to be in a bind. So now what I'm going to do is take a spark plug box and adjust the air gap because I've always used it. Oh my god. Okay. So where were we for? I got rudely interrupted. Ah yes, I usually use a spark plug box. So I'm going to slide this in between the flywheel like so. Alright, now I'm going to rotate it. And it's on the magnet. Right on the magnet. So I'm going to tighten it down. And I'll rotate it off the magnet. And pull this out. Now that is a good air gap. Perfect. So I'm going to bolt it all back together off camera because there's no sense in me being repetitive. And I'm going to plug up the kill wire. Oh my god. So here's an update on this Craftsman push mower. I put a new brake cable on it. I eliminated the electric start. Had to redo a couple things. And now I'm draining the oil out of it. This is the third time I've drained oil out of it because this thing will not quit smoking. And it looks like it's 
making gas too. Gas cap's bad. See it's still pouring out. It's had way too freaking much oil in it. The more I ran it, the more it smoked. It doesn't necessarily mean the motor can be bad though. That gas cap I think's got a crack in it, which is no big deal. It's good enough. So now I'm gonna put oil in it, which that's always fun. These things take 20 ounces. This here is more than 20 ounces and it looks like freaking water. It's probably some real thin oil. Look at that. That could also be a reason why it's smoking or it could have had gas in it. Nonetheless, I'm putting conventional straight 30 back in it. That's what it, I always run in these uh, push mowers. But uh, just ran it. So I'm going to put about 20 ounces in here. I got 16 ounces in the bottle left. So put some in then check it. I'm going to let that dribble down. Cuts real good. The blade on it's old, but still cuts. Wipe the dipstick off a little. I'm getting ready to close up for the day. But what are my plans for this mower? Well, if it turns out, I might use it as a rough cut mower, just something to beat around with. I have a bagger that'll fit it. But the bagger's currently broke. I might have dumped a little bit too much in there. I think you put enough in there to register on the stick. So I'm going to pour the rest of this in here. Oops, I just spilled a little bit. Oh well. And you're saying, well, what if you put too much in there? Then I'll pour some out. It's not like I don't have oil. Right. Let that dribble on down. push one was given to me because it had a bad coil and at the time I didn't have any used coils so the guy just said tell you what keep it I said good enough I get a lot of free push mowers let's check it now it's had some time to dribble down it's still not showing on the stick now it's showing still needs some so we'll give it the rest of this. Instead of trying to figure out the right amount of old oil that's in here, I said screw it. I had that bottle left over from doing another oil change yesterday. That's why there's this granular super absorb everywhere because I spilled it. There's a whole pile of it over there. I think she's right on full. There might have been 20 ounces left in there. If not, I'll put a little 1030 in there just to straighten it out. It's got oil in it, so I'm going to start it, and if it blows up, it blows up. I think it was a free push mower. Frame and all is good. Self-propelled works. Blade's good, so if it blows up, I'll stick another motor on it. So I'm going to go start it, and then check the oil again, and come 5 o'clock, all this crap's going back in the shop, and I'm going inside. I don't know when this video will go live, but it's February 27th today. I'm pretty sure it's 27th. Uh, this does not have a mulch plug in it, so it's just spewing crap out the back, which it doesn't bother me. I have a bagger for it, but the frame's broke, so I need to get that fixed. <laughs> Anyways, enough rambling. I'm going to check it one more time. Then I'm going to go make another lap around my front yard with it. So, see you all in the next video.